exercise 13 uh, question number one uh, e if x equal minus 3x square plus 17x plus 10 so we want to evaluate this is uh, a equal 1 b equal 3 so you can see this is a quadratic equation uh, this kind of e one so we are looking for this kind of area one two three so formula is uh, uh, we will uh, sketch try to sketch this one because uh, we need to know that this area is above x-axis so below x-axis so if it is below x-axis we have to work differently so first of all we'll try to uh, sketch this one so when uh, x equals 0 uh, f0 is 10 so 0 10 uh, this is minus 10 and so it's going to be when x equals 0 this is minus 10 so 0 minus 10 and when fx is 0 minus 3x square plus 17x minus 10 equals 0 this is going to be minus 3x plus 2 x minus 5 equals 0 so x equal 2 over 3 or x equal 5 basically you will get uh, this kind of curve and this is 2 over 3 this is 5 and 1 and 3 1 and 3 here so we need this area area a we can find 1 2 3 fx dx uh, 1 to 3 mean 1 to 3 what is this one minus 3 x square plus 17 x minus 10 dx so when I differentiate 3 x cube over 3 plus 17 x square over 2 minus 10 x and 1 to 3 I rewrote this one and this is minus 3x square over 3 plus 17x square over 2 minus 10x 1 to 3 so this is 3 to 3 cancel out this is going to be minus x square plus 17 over 2 x square minus 10x 1 to 3 so now I'm going to apply the limit First of all, 3, so minus uh, 3 square plus 17 times 3 square over 2 minus 10 times 3. Then I want to minus this one from uh, 1. So minus 1 square plus 17 times 1 square over 2 minus 10 times 1. So, so this is going to be minus uh, 27 this is uh, 9 times 7 153 uh, over 2 and this is 30 and this is minus 1 uh, plus 17 over 2 minus 10 so then minus 27 plus 153 over 2 minus 10 this is going to be this is minus 1 plus 1 minus 17 over 2 plus 10 so minus 27 uh, minus 10 okay this is this is 30 actually um, minus 27 minus 30 minus 57 plus 1 minus 56 minus 46 so that will count minus 46 then 153 minus 17 over 2 is uh, 136 over 2 so 
so you will get the final answer as 22 part b that is uh, fx equal 2x cube plus 7x square minus 4x a equal minus 3 to b equal minus 1 so um, first of all let's sketch this one so when x equal 0, y equal 0, 0, 0 is one point. Then fx equal 0, uh, fx 0, equal 0, x is common. 2x square plus 7x minus 4 equals 0. x times this is 2x minus 1. And this is x plus 4 equals 0. So x equals 0, x equals half, or x equal minus 4. So this is going to be uh, 0, 0, half, 0, and minus 4, 0. x goes to positive infinity y goes to positive x goes to negative y goes to negative chapter number four so minus half zero zero half and minus so this is minus four zero 0, 0, and this is half a 0, minus, yeah, half a 0. The, this one is asking minus 3 to minus 1. Yes, it is a, the area is above the x-axis positive area. So, this is positive area. The value of area is positive. Uh, now, we will find the area from minus 1, minus 3 to minus 1, fx dx, which is minus 3 to minus 1, 2x cube, 7x square, minus 4x dx. So, this is going to be 2x4 over 4 plus 7x 3 over 3 minus 4x square over 2 that is going to be minus 3 to minus 1. So this is we can further so x4 over 2 plus 7x cube over 3 and this is 2x square over minus 3 to 1 minus 1. Uh, because 2 divided by 2 half and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now we will substitute simply minus 1 to the power 4 over 2 plus 7 minus 1 to the power 3. 3 minus 2 minus 1 to the power uh, square. Then minus the second one. Minus 3 to the power 4 over 2 plus 7 minus 3 to the power over cube over 3 minus 2 minus 3 or square over yeah there's no over that's all so this is uh, half this is minus because this is negative value 7 over 3 so this is positive so this is negative and minus 3 over 4 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27 times 81. This is positive 81 over 2 with this minus, this is minus. This is going to be positive as well, but with this minus 9, uh, 27 times 7 over 3. And this is going to be positive, minus times minus positive, 2 times uh, 9. 
and this answer should be and the answer should be 36 uh, 2 over 3 uh, part C let's sketch this one um, we'll take X out uh, okay if x equals 0 then uh, minus x4 7x cube minus 11 square plus 5 x equals 0 when i take x out this is x cube 7x square minus 11x plus 5 equals 0 now i have to break this one we work separately minus x cube plus 7x square um, minus 11x plus 5 equals 0 which one satisfy this equation x equal 1 1 plus 7 minus 11 plus 5 um, Uh, 1 minus 1 okay that's fine so this is minus 12 plus 12 I think you can remember we took this one as uh, gx right uh, gx and then uh, we put uh, numbers and see whether it making 0 so that's what I did so basically this is the one we want to simplify equal 0 now LHS equal minus 1 cube 7 minus 11 plus 5 minus cube so this is this is plus actually plus so now what is happening this is cancel out minus 12 and plus 12 equal 0 equal rhs okay x equal 1 is a uh, x equal 1 satisfy this equation hence x minus 1 is a factor so now we'll divide x minus cube 7 x square minus 11 x five divide by x minus 1 so this is minus x square this is minus x cube and this is plus uh, x square minus times minus plus x square when you negative this one this is going to be 6x square minus 11x then it's going to be minus 6 so this is uh, not plus 6 this is 7 in that case this is plus 6 uh, 6 x 6 square minus 11 6 x then different is minus 5 x plus 5 then if you take minus 5 so minus 5 x minus 5 so plus 5 minus times minus plus so this is cancel out equal 0 so then this is x times x minus 1 times minus x square plus 6x minus 5 equals 0. Now I'll take this minus out. When I take this minus out, I'll take minus from this bracket out, not this bracket. Okay, x times x minus 1 times minus 1 times x square minus 6x plus 5 equals 0 so my x times minus 1 minus x x minus 1 x square minus 6x plus 5 equals 0 so this is going to be x minus 5 x minus 1 x times x minus 1 x minus 5 x minus 1 equals 0 so we can get rid of this minus because this is 0 x times x minus 1 square 
x minus 5 this is 2 times 0 so x equal 0 or x equal 1 or x equal 5 so it has to be 0 0 1 0 and 5 0 x for the max power is uh, negative then uh, x goes to positive infinity y goes to negative infinity and x goes to negative infinity again y goes to negative infinity so you will get uh, so we have 0 1 1 0 5 0 and 1 0 is a repeated root so then the graph is going to be going to be 0 1 5 This is point zero, which is uh, zero zero, which is one zero. If it is a repeated root, usually it is touching, not usually always touch x and y. And now, so we need to integrate from zero to uh, for all the positive areas. Uh, above the x-axis now this area is uh, 0 to 4 fx dx it means uh, 0 to 4 minus x4 plus uh, 7x cube minus 11x square plus 5x dx equal minus x5 over 5 plus 7 x4 over 4 minus 11 x cube over 3 plus 5 x square over 2 from uh, 0 to 4 then we'll supply, apply 4 minus 4 over 5 7 times 4 to the power of 4 minus 11 times 4 to the power cube over 3 plus 5 4 square over 2 minus 0 actually to get the marks uh, we have to apply everything minus 0 5 to the 5 plus 7 times 0 to the 4 plus 4 minus 11 times 0 to the cube over 3 plus 5 times 0 to the square over 2 then this is all go for 0 and you will get final answer is 48 uh, 8 over 15 uh, part d fx equal 8 over x square so it is the type of 1 over x square curve so asymptote is going to be x not equal to 0 so asymptotic equal x equal 0 we will get uh, this kind of graph and uh, we have to integrate from minus 4 to minus 1 minus 4 to minus 1 so this is the graph so we will do it uh, this is 8 uh, x minus 2 uh, area is minus 4 to minus 1 8 x minus 2 dx so this is going to be 8 x minus 1 over minus 1 minus 4 to minus 1 so this is going to be minus 1 over minus 8 over x minus come up my x minus 1 mean 1 over so this is minus 4 to minus 1 so this is going to be minus 8 minus 1 instead of I put x minus 1 then minus minus 8 minus 4 
So this is going to be positive 8, 8 divided by 8 minus divided by minus 8 divided by 4, 2 minus divided by minus positive. And so this is 8 minus 2, answer is 6. Question number two, this curve is uh, x times uh, x square minus 4. This is, uh, we want to integrate from uh, minus 2 to 0 dx. So this is x cubed minus 4x square. We know x values minus 2 and 0, we don't need to worry. Just, I mean, we don't need to find, we have to work out minus 2 to 0, dx, I expand this one, uh, now integrate x4 over 4 minus 4, x cube over 3, and minus 2 to 0, right, when I apply 0 here, 0, 4, over 4, 4 times 0 cube over 3, minus this is minus 2 to the power 4 over 4, minus 4 times minus 2 to the power cube over 3. So this is 0 minus, uh, this is going to be 2 to the power 4, 16 over 4 is going to be 4. This is uh, 2 cube is minus 8, 8 times 4, 32 plus 32 over 3. I think there's a x times 4 is 4x. Four so this is uh, x square over 2. Then this is going to be 2. Uh, oh, this is square, square 2. Then this is this value is going to be. Now it is going to be minus 8. So this is going to be plus 4. 4 minus uh, 8. So I will take out minus 4 plus 8. Answer is plus 4. 3x plus 6x minus 2 minus 5. So this is question number three and it is clear that uh, we want to find this area and we have the boundaries uh, lower limit and upper limit so we so area is fx dx from one to three three uh, x plus six x minus two minus five 1 to 3 dx. So this is going to be 3x square over 2 plus 6x minus 1 over minus 1 minus 5x over minus 5x. So 1 to 3. This is uh, 3x square over 2 minus 6x over x minus 5x. 1, 2, 3. Mm -hmm. 3 times 3 is square over 2, 6, 3 minus 5 times 3, minus uh, 3, 1 square over 2, 6, 1, minus 5 times 1. So this is 9, 9 times 27 over 2. This is 2 and this is uh, 15, this is going to be 3 over 2, 6 minus 5, so answer is 6. In this question number 4, you can see that uh, we want to find the uh, uh, finite area, finite area I mean, now when you consider a curve like this, um, 
uh, we can find this area because this is bounded. It has a fence covered this area, but then this area is open. This is going to infinite. So this is infinite area. This is finite area. Um, if we have a curve like this, it is touching this one, and then this is finite, but this one is infinite. We can't. Uh, find the area without limit so now we have to draw this one uh, to get an idea first of all uh, we can see this is a quadratic curve and this is x curve term is negative it means uh, a is less than zero and then this is a max it has a max curve and when uh, when x equal to 0, y equal 3 minus 0, 1 plus 0, which is 3. So 0, 3, this is 1. And y equal 0, then 3 minus x, 1 plus x equal 0. So x equal 3 and x equal minus 1. So that point is uh, uh, minus 1, 0 and uh, 3, 0. Now we have an idea. It has a max. Since this is going 0, 3, 0, 3, the graph is something like this. And minus 1, 0, and 2, 0, actually. Let me draw again. One point is minus one zero, other point is three zero. The graph is going uh, uh, zero three. Then this is the graph. So this is the finite area now. R, uh, let's say R region now. So you can find R by integrating. Uh, minus 1 to 3, so that is the x limit, the expansion of those two, that is uh, minus x square plus 2x plus 3. So then minus x, now you can expand this one, you will get this one, 2x plus 3 that is dx. So then we will integrate minus x cube over 3 plus 2x square over 2 plus 3x over um, 3, 3x. 3x 1 over 1. So minus 1 and 3. Now we will evaluate minus 3 cube over 3 plus this is 2 to 2 cancel out. So remaining is x square only then uh, 3x square plus 3 times 3. Actually we have to write one more time here by cancelling. So x square plus 3x minus 1. Then it will go to here. Then minus minus 1. So minus minus 1 cube you have to uh, insert in a bracket plus minus 1 square plus 3 times minus 1 so answer is going to 10 2 over 3 uh, question number 5 when I look at this is going to be a cubic uh, should have the cubic picture in your memory now and when y equals 0 x times x minus 4 square equals 0 so x equals 0 or x equal 4 repeated uh, twice so 0 0 and 4 0 x goes to positive y goes to positive 
and x goes to negative y goes to negative so the curve is going to be something like this going 0 0 and 4 0 and so we want to find the finite region so this is the region covered by this curve and this axis and it's covered totally in this area this is open in finite infinite so this is the region we need r first of all expand this one x square minus uh, 4 times 8 x plus 16 so this is going to be y equal x cubed minus 8 x square plus 16 x now we'll r is this is 0 and this is 4 0 to 4 x cube 8 x square plus 16 x dx so this is going to be x4 over 4 minus 8 x cube over uh, 3 plus 16 x square over 2 that is 0 to 4 now 4 to 4 over 4 minus 8 4 square over 3 plus 16 4 square over 2 minus this is 0 minus 0 plus 0 okay we can't do that so you need marks so 0 4 plus 4 minus uh, 8 0 cube over 3 plus 16 0 square over 2 so then you can simplify so you can get the answer 21 times this is times times this is question number 7 the area uh, of this is unit 8 and when you integrate this one you will get up to k you will get unit 8 so we'll integrate up to k and we'll make it equal to so r equal uh, integrate 0 to k 3x square minus 2x plus 2 dx and uh, so this is going to be 3x cube over 3 2x square over 2 plus 2x because this area is uh, we need the equation to solve k is unknown if it is one there is only one unknown k then we need a equation to solve so they will make give data to make an equation what is that one r equal 8 when you solve this one, we will make equal to 8 and then we can work out. So, I integrate this one. This is 0 to k. 3 to 3 cancel out. x cube. This is 2 to 2 cancel out x square. Plus uh, 2x. Uh, 0 to k. So, this is going to be k cube. k square plus 2k. Minus 0 cube minus 0 square plus 2 0 so r equal now k cube minus k square plus 2k and uh, this is r then r equal 8 then what is our conclusion k cube minus 2k square plus 2k equal 0 then when I take k out, this is going to be k square minus k plus 2 equals 0. This is k and k minus 2, I think it's not 0, it is equal to 8. This is the conclusion. 
Right? R equal this one and R equal this one. Conclusion is this one equal this one. A equal B, A equal C, B equal, hence B equal C. Hence, now K cube minus K square, 2K minus 8 equal 0. Now we have to use the factor theorem to solve this one. So this is uh, K cube K square plus 2K minus 8 equal 0. Now we want to check with K equal 1 plus or minus 1 K equal plus or minus 2. Likewise, put k equal 1 and see whether this is satisfying. Then uh, k equal minus 1. I can see that uh, k equal 2 is going to be satisfied. This one, if I put 2 cube, 2 square plus 2 times 2 minus 8. 8 minus 8 cancel out for my yes. k equal 2 is a factor. K equal to is a no K equal to is a solution. Hence K minus two is a factor. Now we have one solution K equal to. Let's see another solutions. K cube minus K square minus two K minus eight divided by K minus two. This is k square, k cube minus 2kx square. This is going to be kx square uh, plus 2k. Now this is going to be plus k, kx square minus 2k. So this is going to be uh, 4, 4k. minus 8 I bring this one then this is going to be plus 4 this is 4k minus 8 0 so the factorization is this one k minus 2 uh, k square plus k plus 4 equals 0 now when I check this one, I am not sure we are going to b square minus 4ac. b square 1 square minus 4 times 1 times c is 4. is less than 0. So there is no solution. As b square minus 4ac less than 0. Hence only solution is k equal to. I think you can remember here we want to put k equal plus 1 first and see whether it is making c 0 equal to 0 then minus 1 plus 2 then minus 2 then plus 3 then minus 3 within this boundary usually you will get but there is no guarantee for that. Question number 8 uh, we want to find this area then we need to know this limits a and b so then at this point y equals 0 then i have to solve this one when y equals 0 minus x square plus 2x plus 3 equals 0 i multiply by minus so x square minus 2x minus 3 equals 0 this is going to be x minus 3 x plus 1 equal 0 so x equal 3 or x equal minus 1 so this is minus 1 and this is minus 3 now we have the boundary now let's work out uh, the area r equal y dx minus 1 to positive 3 
minus 1 to 3 minus x square plus 2x plus 3 dx. Now so this is r equal minus x cube over 3 plus 2x square over 2 plus 3x. This is minus 1 to 3. So I will write minus 3 cube over 3 to 3 square. I write in the bracket so it is easy rather than multiplying writing. So this is 3 times 3 and it will reduce the errors. Now minus minus 1 cube over 3 plus 2 minus 1 square over 2 plus 3 minus 1 that's it and so we have to simplify this one this is minus 9 this is due to 2 cancel out 9 and 9 minus this is uh, one third plus one minus three. So this is ten two out of three. Um this is zero two, this is clear. We can simplify R equals zero to two Y D X. So I have to expand this is 2x square minus x cube. So this is going to be 0 to 2, 2x square minus x cube dx. So this is going to be 2x cube over 3 minus x4 to 4, 0 to 2. So this is going to be... Uh, 2, 2 cube over 3 minus 2, 4 over 4 minus 2, 0 over 3 over 3 minus 0, 4 over 4. So this answer is 0. This is 8 times 2, 16 over 3 minus this is 64 4 is 4 so 1 1 over 3